Waffle white to finish, and then we're gonna go into a hot chicken, no fry sub mac. There we go, we have gumbo, nut potato salad, chicken and waffles, oxtail filling. There you go, enjoy. Hey, I'm Chris Williams, I'm chef and owner of Lucille's here in Houston. Lucille's my great grandmother, we named the restaurant after her. She was a chef and a pioneer that created the first instant hot roll mix in the country and also set up the first commercial culinary educational program in the country through Prairie View University. People just were so crazy about them, she found out a way to make them instant. And she packaged up her own mix. Her products were featured on American Airlines for their first class passengers. She had an amazing roster of clients, everybody from Martin Luther King, Eleanor Roosevelt, to Joe Lewis. I named the restaurant after her. And so we celebrate her with her two most famous recipes, the chili biscuits, which were featured on American Airlines, and the hot roll mix. So those are still two of our best sellers, and these are 100-year-old recipes. The rest of the food is inspired by her in the sense that it's southern-based food, but it has global influences. So this is my grandmother. So this area that we're in right now is what we call the reliquary. It gives you a little bit of history about her. She was dressed up, her and her husband drove to California to go watch Joe Lewis fight. <laughs> Look at her with the pearls everywhere. It's like a little museum. And here, my grandmother actually typed out all these recipes by hand. We have her pies, pastries. This is a serious chef. It's like if I wrote a cookbook that had desserts, it would be like a page. <laughs> and this woman has four different classes of it. This is my great-grandmother's original signage. This piece right here is a collage made of her recipes that we took from her cookbook, which she first published in 1937, and we made it the backdrop. She was one of the first women in the country to file Fem Sol, which is Latin for a woman alone. It gave her the power to operate her business under her own terms, because uh, back in those days, a woman couldn't do anything without her husband's signature. That's her making her fruitcakes that she used to send off to all the active duty people in the Vietnam War. Everybody from Tarrant County, she'd sent fruitcakes every year, and Tarrant County is where she was from. This letter was sent to my great-grandmother, thanking her for the work that she used to do, which came from LBJ. Like, I always enjoyed cooking. And then when I was in Europe, I knew that wherever I was, if I could cook, there are no language barriers. So that was a way for me to support myself while I was through Europe. It was a passion, and a hustle, and then a career path. Okay, thank you, Okra, it's beautiful. Well, you know, sometimes these genes lie dormant for generations. So, I know the cooking genes skipped over my mother. <laughs> so I got it, though. A big piece of chicken. <laughs> it is not playing, look at that. The food that we serve here, the best way to describe it is Southern cuisine with global influences. So that means that we take local ingredients, things that you would normally find in the South, and then we use preparations and techniques and accents from the rest of the world. I like the fried green tomatoes. It has a new spin on it, so it's not the normal fried green tomato. It has grilled shrimp on it, goat cheese, sausage, and it's some type of sauce. I can't put my finger on it, but it's so good. The chicken was amazing. All around, one of the best restaurants I've had so far in Houston. I don't normally eat scallops, but the scallops were really good. They were juicy, moist, melt in your mouth. And you could just taste the richness of the scallops. So you have Vietnamese influences, Croatian influences, just a little bit of everything. This is our Cornish hen marinated in Ethiopian the bear spice. So these are Carolina gold rice grits. And we took it down with a little bit of chicken stock, lemon juice, finish it off with gruyere. Quick brown butter peas. So these are just like your regular cornmeal grits, except they're a little bit lighter. Now, our beautiful hen, sit her right on top there. We'll bless it with a little bit of peas. And this perfect sauce. Finish it with a little bit of roasted garlic chive oil. So this dish is the latest iteration of what we try to do here with the southern ingredient base and the global influences. Then we have our cheesy grits with the sous vide egg yolk and caviar with the chicken skin crackling. Oxtails, and they're served over serrano cheddar grits with the fire roasted caponata on top. And caponata is an Italian side dish, eggplant, pine nuts, golden raisins, peppers, carrots, and garlic. When the pandemic first hit Lucille's, we served over 3,000 meals to first responders and healthcare workers, and we did that out of our own pocket. So World Central Kitchen reached out to us, and the first, the first day they reached out, I was like, absolutely, I'd love to do it. The contract was for 100 people. Morning, ladies. And as soon as I saw those people, I'm like, it just reminded me of my family. And so I came up with the menu for 30 days. I sent it off to World Central Kitchen saying, I love the opportunity to continue to cook for them. This is what I propose they have every day. 
So this menu is very deliberate. We know these people and we built it, customized it specifically for them. And we went from doing 100 people a day to 450 a day, which is a little bit under 2,500 meals a week. We have officially launched Lucille's 1913, which is our catering company. And so we're looking to find more partnerships so we can continue doing the work. <laughs> Y'all enjoy lunch? Because you see uh, it makes these people's day. It's self-serving as well because I enjoy it. So a couple of weeks ago, Joe Biden selected Lucille's to have a historic meeting with the Floyd family. And it was one of the great honors of my life to host the moment. Like, I wasn't even really a part of it, just to be in the area, to be the space where this happened. Thank you, Roasted Fish. And my great-grandmother could see what we're doing today. With Lucille's, I don't know that she would agree with it, because I heard that she was quite a critic. <laughs> well, ladies. Alright, enjoy. Regardless, I'm sure she'd be nothing but happy for us. Mm -hmm.